Now, so many of you have seen the videos of the young girl. I believe she's 18, a high school student at a South Carolina high school campus, of her being um, picked up and dragged across the room, etc. Now, the officer involved, as of the broadcast a few moments ago, it's my understanding he's been fired. Okay? There is a pending lawsuit. Lawyers have been retained. And um, there are all sorts of people chiming in about uh, what Deputy Ben Fields did after the incident. Now, I want to talk with you about this and your thoughts And I don't want to share too much at the beginning because I want to give you an opportunity to share your thoughts, share your observations. But I also want to, for a moment, ask you to consider something that's called context. Now, if you see a video, such as the video that has been circulating and gone viral, and evidently there's three, but they're all basically the same, uh, it, it's it's hard to watch. And um, I think it's easy to go with, okay, boom, here's my observation. We live in a world now of technology where it seems like the world gets to chime in on their beliefs and their views, even though they weren't there. Now, I woke up this morning... And after I did my usual amount of reading and doing things, I went on to uh, my social media, and a friend of mine, his wife, posted something that really stopped me in my tracks, and it was about this. And I'm going to read to you from a parent's perspective what she said in a moment. But I want to open the phone lines, first and foremost, 888-995-995. 5552, 888-995-5552. If you would like to share some of your thoughts about this situation, what transpired, uh, do you believe this officer should have been fired, um, any random thoughts you'd like to convey as we begin here, 888-995-5552. And we'll take your phone calls in a few moments. I want to address something for a moment. As a Christian man, when it comes to what the Bible says about authority. Now, when I was a non-believing teenager, I'm just going to be honest. Because I had a rebellious streak in me, I was raised, excuse me, in the 60s and 70s, where the expression was question authority. I had my chip on my shoulder against authority. Um, I didn't like my dad. It was just natural to rebel against authority. Police were being in that category. I had long hair. Um, I, I never, per se, got arrested, but I did my share of mischief and getting in trouble. And when it came to police, I just had this horrible attitude toward them. And it was almost systemic in our culture with our generation, with the 60s and the 70s, etc. Okay. I become a Christian a number of years ago. And it all began to make sense. Like, why did I have this issue with law enforcement? Well, it stemmed from not having a respect from authority, for authority. I had no respect for authority. As a non-believer, I didn't even believe that God was the ultimate authority. I kind of viewed him as, well, he was just one of maybe many truths, and you, you can somehow come from the, the school of thought that um, there, there's not really absolute truth, it's more about relative truth, and, and just not go with that. But when I came to know Christ, I began to read the Bible, and the book of Romans is obviously very forthright in talking about authority, and the, the need for us to be submitted and, and respectful of authority. Also, in the New Testament, there's four divisions of authority. Again, Romans 13, 1 through 2, Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. 
Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God. And you may say, well, wait a minute. What about, uh, you know, corrupt governments, corrupt authority? Scripture points to still the need for submission in that area, and so we can get into that if you want. But the bottom line is Romans is very clear about submission to authority. I want to play a cut from a man that's been on this program. His name is John Bevere. He wrote a very thought-provoking book a number of years ago called Honor's Reward, How to Attract God's Favor and Blessing. And hopefully I'll be able to run a clip here in just a moment on the issue of police. I'm in the gym in Colorado Springs where I live a couple years ago. I'm working out. There's a man and a woman working out next to me. I start talking to the man and a woman, right? And I, I start witnessing to them, right? I, I find out that he's a policeman, she's a policewoman. In the course of the conversation, I go, man, the respect that I have in my heart for you two is enormous. I said, because the Bible says you are literally God's servants. And the policeman goes, dude, hold it. I said, why? He said, the Bible says that. I said, yeah, it says that. He said, I'm one of God's servants. I said, yeah, it says that. He said, I'm tattooing that right on my back. A couple weeks later in the gym, he pulls up his shirt there. There's Romans 13, plastered, tattooed right on his back. I thought, man, he's got that. I hope he's saved, but he's got that part. Okay. So obviously John is having fun with that, but really being clear on police fall into the category of civil authority. And the Bible tells us that we are to submit and be respectful of police. Now, let's for a moment get into what happened in the South Carolina classroom, and then we'll take your phone calls. The I believe she's 16. I may have said 18. 16-year-old girl in her math class had her cell phone out, and the teacher asked her to put it away. And evidently she refused, and I've read different reports that he asked her a number of times and she refused, and eventually he called the school superintendent, I believe. May have been the principal. It was somebody in a higher position of authority of the school. He comes in and addresses her as well, and she refuses to put the phone away. And evidently, uh, this went on for a while and a few times, and she refused and was very, the attitude was like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing anything wrong. So it got to a point where the resource officer was called in. This is a man that's trained as a law enforcement officer. Again, Deputy Ben Fields has been fired for his actions when he stepped in and forcibly removed, pushed this girl to the ground, threw her to the ground, dragged her off, etc., etc. So here's my question as we go to break, and then we'll take many of your phone calls. few questions. Your thoughts on the incident. Is the videotape proof, or can there be more to the story? What about the issue of being in a school and having to adhere to certain rules in the school? What about our view as parents? Do we have a say in this? And ultimately, was this a misuse of authority and power by the police officer? 